Welcome back viewers, it's me again Tasha, Akhlif and I will be the one to accompany you on our last Swiss round, the fourth round. And for today, we'll be having for this on stream itself, for the final Swiss round before we move on to the top four, is William Tong and... And Gary Carnadi. Alright, uh, both of them I think are very good players from now on. Yeah. I'm, I'm also a friend of William himself. Oh, and, uh, cool. Yeah, and so far, because after this, I think the top four, we will then go into... There will, there will be like an elimination match yeah. to determine who will finally be the champion of the 2017. Indonesia trainer Pokemon Indonesia trainer circuit grand finals. Yay. That is such a long title, but uh, it's so cool as well. Yeah, before we we uh, we will find out who the champion. This since this is the last Swiss. Yeah, it's the will be the decider whether uh, to see which player will qualify yeah, for the top four itself. To the top four. So. So uh, before we, we before we move on, we'd uh, like to thank our sponsors. I think you can take that yeah, over, Eru. It is the PSA Enterprise, Logitech, and Unipin. And also thank you for Bijak for uh, letting us the room. For, for providing us the venue for, the, for to host this tournament itself. Yeah. And uh, to all sponsors, we'd like to thank you once again. So now we'll be talking about the players who are going to be on stream itself. So we have uh, William Tong and who's... Okay, hold on. Let's see. We have actually Gary yeah, Karnani. Yeah, it's Gary first. So Gary wins uh, before on live local tournament uh, twice as a top 8. I think uh, he that, that means he, he got top 8 for the second and fourth Jakarta live. Yeah. And uh, he's from... Bogor, Jawa yeah, Barat, where yeah. actually is that? Yeah, another city beside Jakarta. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so for our next player, William. Yeah. We have... Uh, he's actually quite a decorated player himself. Yeah. Have, have, yeah, as you can see, uh, top 8 in the Hong Kong Winter PC, 12th in the Spring MSS. Yeah. Top 4 Hong Kong Open and 10th in the Regional. And uh, as well, also for he won the, the second... Uh, online tournament and the uh, top 1000 and 1024 in the international challenge so yeah. he is actually from hong kong itself he is half honky and half a uh, half indonesian correct if i'm yeah, not mistaken yeah, that's right and yeah. he's currently staying in hong kong so that's why he's participating in the tournament uh, tournaments there so now we'll move on to the team preview itself so uh i think both players can start already yeah. and here we go oh uh William, I'll go with William. So William's carrying Tapu Koko, Gyarados, Marowak, Alolan, Kartana, Tapu Lele, as well as a Mandibuzz. Yeah, and on the left side we can see that Gary have Flygon, Togedemaru, Kartana, Gigalit, Tapu Fini, and Arcanine. It's so rare to see a Flygon there. It's 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 not uncommon to see Togedemaru because it has been shown in the Pokemon, the top eight of worlds itself. There has been a number of Togedemaru. I think even in the cha the champion Ryota Otsubo used as a Togedemaru. But the Flygon is yeah. a very peculiar choice there. Yeah, I'm so interesting to see what will Flygon do in this. Battle. True. Okay, and uh, as you can see, Gary has 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 some has a few ways to stop William because uh, with the Togedemaru's lightning rod, it prevents the thunderbolts from wreaking havoc with the Tapu Koko. But but William has his own Marowak to stop the Togedemaru yeah. from running around wild. Uh, yeah, I think here uh, both players have a bit of their own trump card, not really yeah. their own special uh, aces down the hole, which is. Uh, Williams Gyarados as well as Gary's uh, Flygon. So, what do you think, uh, Tasha, about about uh, both players? Yeah, both players have their intimidate uh, Pokemon. Like Gary have Arcanine and William Tong have Gyarados. True. So, I think it's uh, equally both quite strong team. Uh, yeah, but uh, it seems that on Gary's side, there's a lack of special attackers. It seems. Oh yeah, yeah. Because uh, for okay, William has both. Both tapus, which are possibly special, most popular special attackers, and uh, yeah, but and Gary, whether his flygon is a physical or special, we'll have to find out in the match. Yeah, and we are going to jump into the game. We will see what will they bring for the lead. Yeah, and uh, from this, it will possibly determine who will go, who will go to the top four. So, piece of cake. We're looking here from Gary's point of view, and he sends out. Uh, I think that is Togede Maru and, and Tapu Fini. Well, William Tongs and Mandibus and <laughs> and Tapu and Lele. Wow. Okay. So um, an interesting choice here because uh, usually Togedemaru has the ability to fake out, but the problem is that now with the psychic 
the psychic terrain up went went last, which could possibly mean that the Tapu Fini is faster or could be scarf. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Oh, that, that's a that's a very interesting, uh, interesting uh, turn of events here. So, but now the Togede Maru, what will he go for? Yeah, we will see soon what will what will happen next. Yeah, because uh, he could he could also threaten the Tapu Lele with a steel type oh, move. True. I think I'm not sure if it learns Iron Hit. I don't think it does. I don't remember. Yeah. But it is steel type, so that's one thing. Um, and the Tapu Fini is has lost. Well, actually, it seems that it's showing that it's faster than the Tapu Lele means that the shows that it could possibly be a more offensive variant. Yeah, and and William just switched the into Marwa. Wow. Yeah, okay. Into Marwa. Uh, interesting. And there's this fake out. out. Oh yes, yeah, going and going into a Moonblast. Wow. Yeah, and Moonblast In like. The Marowak, the Marowak, which was the Mandy Bar slot. Maybe he wanted to fake out and go yeah. for uh, go for a Moonblast to pick yeah, up the and damage. Yeah, double Alice and Psychic, and it's oh, been a KO to Tapu Fini. It's the first blood in the that first that is a lot of damage coming from the Tapu Lele. Yeah. The Psychic boosted by the Psychic Terrain. Maybe because we saw that the Tapu Fini was faster than the Tapu Lele shows that it's not as actually it's not as bulky as uh, as it normally is. Yeah, I think it's that is the case. So Gary is now one Pokemon down in the first turn itself, and uh, uh, very not that much damage uh, on his Marwite. So we'll just have to see on what Gary is going to try to do this time. Yeah, and there's the intimidates make the Marowak and Tapulele's attack drop. Drop. Uh, well, a Marowak will be more affected by it. Yeah. But I think if it holds the thick, uh, the thick club, I think. Then it uh, it will just reset its attack to neutral. Oh. Yeah, because that's thick club. What it does is that it increases the attack. And special attack, I think, by 1.5. Oh. So it is. Uh, so it's like a bit of a choice ban, but without uh, without the uh, restriction of only locking into one move. Yeah, I think that's a good item to use. It's the most common item used yeah, in Marowak. Marowak. So uh, here, I think now, once again, William is free to. Oh, actually, yeah, no. I, I thought he would go for another psychic. Yeah, will just into Gyarados and the Intimidate. Get an Intimidate, yes. Yeah. So that. To make the Arcanine attack not even that lower. Yeah, uh, but I don't think you'll even be going for much. Actually, going for a spiky shield here, yeah. so a flare blitz will not hurt it. And there's the bulldoze. Marwa, this is a tag being revealed by William here. Oh no, sorry, 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 sorry. Actually, that is the Arcanine, Arcanine going for a bulldoze. bulldoze. So it's a, uh, it's not uncommon for it to have it. Yeah. There we go, wanted to go for a Shadow Bone, but because it doesn't make contact, therefore it does not get the recall from the spiky shield. Yeah. Quite a good move from Gary. Yeah, uh no, well, both players made actually quite quite clever moves there. But uh I would say Williams is still here in the upper hand with the Gyarados because it cannot the Togeda Maro cannot touch it as long as Marwa has the lightning rod on field. Oh yeah yeah, that's right. So and now Gary just switched the Togedemaru with the Kartana. Since Kartana is grass, it's good against the Gyarados. So maybe he wants to go for a Dragon Dance this time? Yeah, and actually, yeah. he does. Very, very clever of it. It is Dragon Dance. Ooh, so he wow, grass the yeah. attack and the speed. Going and into a Flare Blitz into the Kartana slot. Yep. yep. So, ooh, that's going to be four times effective. Not a kick. Yeah, it's. It's a KO. a KO, even after the Intimidate, this Marawa is nothing to be scoffed at. And it is still alive, which is the biggest thing right now. Yeah, Gary is on pinch right now. He's, in, he's quite a bit pinch. Uh, he's in the... Already lost to its Pokemon. And there we see Togede Maru comes back again. Probably, possibly wants to fake out the Gyarados this turn, but, but the Marawa is still there. And it still has its Lightning Rod. And with the Dragon Dance, even after the... Even after... I would say a fake out, it would still be able to outspeed the Togede Maru. Yeah. So here, I think... Uh, oh. Yeah, the player's thinking of forfeit. But I don't think that's the best idea. Oh. Yeah, and it's a forfeit. He could have tried pulling it through, I suppose. G Gary still could have a chance, but... Uh, yeah, to collect some information, maybe. Yeah, true, because in the end, it's an information game on how this works. But uh, we'll move on to the next uh, match here. So yeah. that goes one win in favor of William, and uh, still no sign of the Flygon. Yeah, we will see whether... Uh, Gary can uh, bounce back or William will take 2 0. Yes, correct. And uh, I think Gary here, he really needs, to, like I said, like uh, the Gyarados really plays a pivotal role for William because uh, it helps with the intimidates, hits, and uh, unfortunately, with his Tapu Lele 
knocking out the top of Vinny in, in turn one. Really, really pushed back uh, Gary's both offensive and defensive strategy. Yeah, Gary needs to revise his strategy if he wants to win this. Yeah, if he wants to move on to, uh, to if he wants to move on to game three in the first place. Yeah, that's right. So uh, Gary is locked in, and uh, Williams here still deciding on what Pokemon to pick. Yeah. He may not want to bring Mandibus this turn because knowing that. Uh, He'll, he'll get hit by a lot of things on Gary's side. But uh, in the end, I suppose like it's not that big of a deal because as long as William has uh, William does his best, he could still uh, he could still clinch a win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. William really takes quite a long time to think yeah, he, what he, will he bring next. Yeah, he needs to know whether or not it's worth bringing his, uh, his, uh, his the same Pokemon again. But yeah. here we go, we're going right into the battle and yeah. uh, for the second match of the round for the fourth round of Swiss. Yeah, both players are ready. We're gonna see what they, they will go for. Yeah. Yes. This will possibly decide which player will go on to the top four of the 2017 Pokemon Indonesia Trainer Circuit Grand Finals. Yeah, and Williams and Gyarados and Mandibus. Wow, Mandibus and Gyarados in well, the game. Garrus and Flygon and Kartana. Mm. There's the Flygon. There it is. There's the Flygon, ladies and gentlemen. Going for an Intimidate. This could affect both Pokemon on on the side of uh, of Gary's, especially the Kartana. We don't know whether the Flygon is special or or, or physical, but. Here, Mandibus could just go for a Tailwind actually. Doesn't even yeah. need to get the boost. We will see what will Mandibus do. Um, I think that it's it's very uh, strange and you know, quite quite something coming from William because he sent in Mandibus without the Tapu Lele because it doesn't oh. get because it doesn't get the boost from the Psychic Seed. But I don't think it matters now because Intimidate will patch up the special the defense of it. Yeah. So here, I think a pro protect and maybe Tailwind. Hey, Gary just switched the Flygon into in, into oh, Tapu Fini. Wow, maybe he doesn't want to get hit by an Ice Fang. Yeah. Getting the Misty Surge instead. Alright. Gary is going for a Protect. Does. Yep, and uh, I think a Tailwind here from the Mandibus. We will see. Deflate yeah, into Kartana, the Protect. Deflate, block by Protect. And, and here we go, Tailwind. You're right. So, um, I think what... Uh, what Sorry, what William can go for is a foul play into the uh, into the Kartana because with Kartana sky high attacks that it will because foul play uses the opponent's attack stat against it, so it's gonna hurt a lot. And especially if Gyarados says Ice Fang, it can rack up damage even more. Yeah, yeah. Since we are on the Misty Tyrant, it there won't be any frozen. Status. Yep, there won't be any free stats for sure, but there still will be flinch stats. That's oh, yeah, that's, that's right. one thing because. Uh, uh, it only affects volatile status, and volatile status are the ones that you can see on screen: the burn, poison, sleep, freeze. Uh, other than that, doesn't affect. But um, yeah, and, and you got oh, oh, actually the getting ice the avoid. Miss. Unfortunately, that could have picked up the KO onto it, as you can see. Mm, yeah, and there's the leaflet from Kartana. Actually, picks picking up the KO, KO with a critical, critical hit. hit. And now Kartana being speedy as it is, just like Lucio getting the beast boost. The attack goes, and there's the moon blast. Oh, very unfortunate then here for William. If he, mm, and because it does not get the special defense boost from the psychic terrain, therefore, uh, not looking too good here for William. But maybe he has, yep, the Tapu Lele yeah, to reset. Yeah, Tapu Lele comes, reset the terrain. Reset the terrain, and uh, he could possibly go for a KO on the Kartana here. Yeah, that's right. Knowing that the Kartana does not have a focus sash as we saw in the last match. Mm -hmm. And now it's brought down to very low HP, so it is a high possibility that he can pick up the KO onto the Kartana if he chooses to. But I think right now he does need to get rid of the Kartana. He can uh, wait for the the Tapu Fini for a bit later because he can take attacks from Tapu Fini better than he can take attacks from the uh, Kartana, especially after the Beast Boost. Um, Okay, um, I think here, William, okay, yeah. I've explained about William, I think here what, and yep, Gary, Gary switches switch, out instead. Switch the Kartana into, into Arcanine, make the... That doesn't make a difference no. because, because, uh, uh, even foul play, as I say, it uses the attack of the opponent instead of itself, so psychic. Maybe just Ooh, to... did he call oh, the switch there? Yeah, Picking up the key. Oh, wow. And here we go, foul, foul play. play. Mm. 
doing a lot of damage. See, yeah. because that's why the, uh, the oh, actually with that amount of damage, it could reveal that Arcanine is actually very fast. So um, we seem to be facing a bit of technical errors here, yeah. but uh, we can still go on with. Okay, so even if he switches in Kartana back in here, uh, there isn't much that he could do per se. I would, I would, I would say because the Kartana does not have uh, much he can do. Oh no, they're just going in to charge their yeah. 3D assets. So. Uh, Sorry for the technical. Yeah, man. Uh, I still think a psychic will definitely knock out the Kartana, and the man. The Maniva should go for a Roost this turn, actually. Yeah, because it's already on a red bar HP there. Yeah, uh, but a Flare Blitz from... Nope, actually going for a Protect there. Yep, uh, very wise, I would say. And then... Wait, oh, double Protect, Arcanine is it? Also is Trying to stall out Tailwind, but I don't think this is the last turn of Tailwind. And there's the Psychic. Yep. Uh, I'm going for a Roost, yeah, very clever. Yeah, there's the Roost. Necessary to heal up its HP so it can take another attack better. Yeah. So the question is, does Tailwind... Yep, it does speed out, but uh, you can just set up Tailwind again, I suppose. Yeah, it can set up Tailwind again. But uh, unfortunately for William, he does not have an Intimidate anymore, unless he brings in his Mar. Yeah. If he has his Mar, what that is, at the back. Because right now, uh, the Tapu Lele is in a... Yep, oh. he with the draw from Tapu Lele. Yeah, William just switched into Marowak. So maybe... Uh, and there's oh. the smart strike into Marowak, Marowak but slot. so he did not call it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not very effective. And Lapids, I think, also into that slot just to, just to ensure a okay, kill. Oh, yep. Ooh, yeah. and here comes the tailwind once again. Yeah, we will see. Is it tailwind again or no? Yeah, Definitely it's tailwind. tailwind. It needs to tailwind again. If not, it will never be able to outspeed the Kartana. And now the Kartana is uh, looking to be in a very scary position. Now with only the Flygon at the back, uh, he only really needs to get rid of the Kartana to win. So, Kartana is a big threat to what? To the Tapu Lele at the back. Oh! Because if he gets rid of the Kartana, then Flygon, Flygon can barely do any damage. Uh, and like, you know, because he, his Psychic will be super effective against uh, the Flygon. Uh, it's not super effective, sorry. It will be, uh, it would not be resisted. So, Mandy Bazir going for another Roost. Wow, maybe he Shadow Bone. Yeah, he wants to make the HP full again. Yep. And there's the Flare Blitz. Into the Protect, yep. Yeah. And there's going for a Bulldoze, but uh, I think it also will affect the Mandy Pass because he went for a Roost. So, yeah. some strats that you should know, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but it's not very. Uh, not, not very effective. Uh, Mandy Pass. No, it's just normal damage. But the Bulldoze, I would say, doesn't really make much of a difference. He should go for an attack this turn at the very least. He needs to get rid of the uh, Kartana, of course. Yeah, and Kartana is still in a good health. Uh, in half health, I think a foul, I think a Shadow Bone or a Foul Play can uh, can knock it out. Well, I think what he should do is he should uh, Flare Blitz into the Kartana and go for a Foul Play onto the Arcanine. Yeah. That would that would be my that would be my call. Oh yeah, it. since he already protect, he yeah. cannot. Yeah, but here revealing that is actually faster because of the Bulldoz not being able to pick yeah. up the KO unfortunately. Mandibus getting the foul play. play into the Arcanine. Arcanine. Does this pick up the KO? No, no, it does not and it pops the Pinch Berry. Yeah, it's snagging its item recovered oh, some man. HP and there's... Flare Blitz into the... The Marowak Ooh, and, and able there to we pick go. a KO. The, the Bulldoz making a big difference in that match so... It's gonna be a hard, hard match here for uh, William. Yeah, and, and the terrain back to normal again. Correct, but it'll be reset into the psychic terrain once he brings in Tapu Lele <laughs> once again. So here, uh, I really, like I said, he should really focus down on the Maro on the Kartana, Kartana instead. Yeah, it's very tense right now. True, and now he can just go for another protect, I assume. Yeah, maybe he will do that. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, uh, I suppose for William, he really needs to calculate properly how much damage his foul play does onto the... Uh, onto who again? The Arcanine, sorry. Yeah, so uh, Kartana will... It's a good... It's a good, it's, it's a good Pokemon here. He, said, yeah, he yeah, protects. Like, so he needs to make the right call this turn. And Going yeah, for a double, double protect, protect instead. Okay. To wait the Tailwind to pick yeah. them. Uh, I don't think he'd be going for a Dazzling Gleam instead. Okay. All right, all right, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, not the best of decisions, but yeah. uh, but one decision he could have done. So will Mandibus use Tailwind again? He would try to, definitely. 
But one I think one smart strike definitely KOs the double LA. So William here making the mistake of not getting rid of the Kartana immediately. Yeah, and then the smart strike definitely picks up the KO. Fire Kartana is no is is no small no small under thing to underestimate, unfortunately. So you go with the beast boost, uh, it's definitely gonna be able to pick up the KO onto the car onto the mark onto the Mandibus the next turn. Yeah, and there's the flare blades into Mandibus makes the head speed uh, still left. Yeah, and here going for a foul play. Yeah, picking up the KO, yeah, so he should have aimed KO. into the into the katana in the first place. Yeah, he should do it uh, faster. Yeah, but I guess now he knows. So that that is that is sufficient knowledge for William in the next turn. Yeah. Ring. And uh, once again, I don't think he should. Uh, I don't think uh, William should forfeit. He should find out on what exactly the uh, what set is the Flygon carry because he does not know at all whether or not this this uh, Flygon is faster, slower. Is it special? Is it physical? Yeah, William needs to collect some information. Yeah, so he needs to know for sure. So we don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Find out. Yeah. So William can definitely win. He just needs to be a bit more smarter in his predictions. And there's the Drago Okay, so here. this possibly reveals that the Flygon is a special attack. Yeah. Which might not even pick up the KO here because the special defense boost from the Psychic Seed. Yeah, and Flygon's special attack just dropped. And there's the Flare Blitz. Yeah, there's the Flare Blitz. Into yeah. it and definitely picking up the KO. So that's 1-1 one, one in, Gar in Gary's favor. And yeah. we'll go on to Game 3 to see who will win. Yeah, this Gary, the fourth round, the fourth Swiss round of uh, this the trainer circuit grand finals. Yeah, Gary just bounce back and make it a tie now. So we are going to see another incredible match for the third. For the yeah, the third match in the fourth Swiss round, and uh, I think William here he definitely has all the cards he needs. But his main priority is getting rid of Kartana. Once he yeah. gets rid of Kartana, he can definitely win. But he is not playing his best, unfortunately. Yeah, we will see if William can make a better match. Yeah, after if, this. He, if he can make a proper comeback this turn. So, um, here we go. I think we're going. Oh no, we're still in the team selection screens. Yeah. Uh, Gary here really has to think on what Pokemon he wants to bring because uh, he, he, he knows that uh, if he lets William set up his Gyarados even once, then he will probably lose. He knows that his uh, Tapu Fini is very. It's not, it's not that defensive. It's quite frail because. Possibly it's very offensive, I don't know. Yeah, and we haven't seen Gary brings the Gigalith. Yeah. I don't think he wants to bring the Gigalith because uh, there's no weather to stop and it's too oh. slow to, to stop anything. And like, there is a Kartana and there's a Gyarados and there's a very, very strong Tapu Lele. So, uh, so I don't think uh, the Gigalith wants to be there. Yeah. Not the best of idea for it to be there, for sure. But uh, we'll have to see on what Gary considers. Yeah, and we also haven't seen the Williams Tapu Koko because the Gary have Togen Demaru. Yeah, but like I said, like you know, both both players opting not to bring the electric types because yeah. they know there's the there's the lightning rod to prevent that from happening. Yeah, and now both players are ready. We're gonna see. We are jumping to the game right now to see whether or not William or Gary will win and move on to the top four. Well, me we move on to the top four. We don't know whether or not they can. Yeah, and now we Gary and Arcanine and Kartana. Arcanine Kartana lead and going with Ooh, Tapulele and Mandibus. Now um, you can just switch it to you can just switch Lele into Gyarados to get the intimidate off. And, yeah. And, and and you know make it Mandibus. I think here if uh, if William led with his Gyarados and Mandibus, it will be fine. But possibly he he wanted to just play safe a bit safe. So you think which one is going to switch? The Lele, the Lele oh, switch the Lele, because, up. because the Mandibus wants to set up, uh, set up Tailwind. Yeah. And there's Kartana that is a big threat to. Uh, to Lele. Top Lele. Yep. So Top Lele switches out for sure. And there's the Marowak. Ooh, wow. Marowak okay. Okay. Come to the battlefield. And there's the Z. Why is this? Fightinium Z. Yeah, we will see from the Kartana. Oh my from God! From here into Kartana. In, into the in, into the Mandibus, I suppose. All out pummeling. Ooh. We will see which target it will kill. I, I send, definitely think the Mandibus. Yeah, it sent out and, thousand and, and, harm. One thousand punch. punches and hits. And dash. Oh, Mandibus. And, and 
And ooh, will the Flabnets be able to pick up the KO? That's the question. Yeah, well, but it might be able to, for we know. Yeah, and there's the player blitz. No, no, and now the Tailwind will make the difference in this match. Yes. Yeah. The Mandy will survive from the bots, Kanadis. Uh, oh, attack. yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, the man, even if the Mandy bus goes on this turn, he can bring in Tapu Lele again. Yeah. No problem, but I think he sh he's probably going to go for a extreme speed into the Mandy bus. Or maybe yeah. even a bulldoze. He's actually switching out Kartana, I think, into the Tapu Fini. Yep, that should be the Tapu Fini. Yeah, and there's Tapu Fini reset. So you should focus down on the Gyarados. Eh, sorry, on the Arcanine. Yeah. And there's the extreme speed. Yeah, with the. Especially even with the field reset that prevents. Uh, so now he can freely go. It doesn't matter, now he goes for a shot. No, Flare Blitz actually, he's so afraid of the Kartana. Flare Blitz into Tapu Fini. Yep. Still hurt. But it's fine, because. Yeah. Here comes his Tapu Lele. Now the problem is he needs to preserve his Marawa well in order to prevent uh, in order to prevent uh, the Kartana from uh, picking up even more KOs. Yeah, now Tapu Lele is on the... Tapu Lele is back at full health. He has tail she has Tailwind behind her. Yeah. And uh, oof, I don't know whether the Mar well, Marawa's uh, Flare did much damage, so... Possibly a Shadow Bone could do even more damage. Yeah, so uh, which one do you think is still on the upper hand? Uh, William, if he goes on the offensive here and he knocks out two Pokemon, will definitely be on the upper hand. Wow. He just needs to make the right call. If he Psychics into the Arcanine and Shadow Bones into the uh, Tapu Fini slot, he should be able to pick up a double KO. And even if they switch out, massive damage. Oh, and there's Protect from Arcanine. Yep. Shadow Bone into the Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam. Uh, maybe he predicted a Flygon switch. Yeah, and Tapu Finis. So Tapu Shadow Bone. Yeah. No! no. Going actually into an. And mm. there's the Muddy Water attack. Tapu Lele and Marwa. That is a bad yeah. call from William and there. Yeah, it's big a KO to Marwa. Of course, because it is it is not the most uh you know defensive. Yeah, now Ooh, I still don't get why he wanted to go. I think a psychic would have been better now for Gyarados coming, I so he has to set up a, uh he has to set up I mean uh, Dragon Dance this turn in order to get any form of leverage. Yeah, now William down to uh, two Pokemon. William down to two Pokemon and a very and like uh a Tapu Lele at just about sixty percent health. Yeah, it's quite on a pinch. <laughs> a big pinch you could say. And uh, yeah, we, uh, Gary has not lost any of his Pokemon. He's played very smartly. He actually switches out yeah, it's into, the, into the Flygon. Okay. Into the Flygon. But here, Dazzling Gleam like, hurts. Getting yes. a Dragon Dance up. But, okay, so this is why. Because then he can switch in Gyarados to get. Uh, he can switch in Arcanine again to get the. Uh, to get the Intimidate on the Gyarados and reduce the damage even further. Yeah. So. Flygon. Ooh, actually, both Pokemon going down, but. Uh, whether or not this matters is a big difference. Yep. There's the end of the Tailwind, so we will see Kart uh, uh, Arcanine again. Yep, Arcanine with the Intimidate and, and uh, Kartana. Kartana, yep, and Kartana has a full yep. HP, so unless he gets a flinch, <laughs> it's going to be very hard. Yeah, there's the Intimidate to make the so, Gyarados so, attack less. Yeah, so I think what's going to make or break this match is whether the Gyarados gets a flinch onto the. Uh, Onto the Kartana with its Ice Fang, if it has Ice Fang. It hasn't revealed Ice Fang, I think, but I assume it does. I think in the previous match we've seen already. But either way, uh, I mean, like, I think that's the only way for unless it's water, unless it uses Waterfall and gets the flinch. Yeah. Which we don't know could have, could or may or may not happen. Yeah, it's still an option. It's an, it's an option by, uh, by William and uh, he needs to make every single call. Going for a Protect, okay? Yeah, can I use Protect while. Going for a waterfall, into for waterfall fishing for the flinch here. He's gonna yeah. try to get a flinch. We will see. No flinch. There's a smart strike to Tapu Lele. And so. Tapu Lele is definitely going down with the Katana getting the beast boost. Yeah, and Gyarados is left out alone. Yeah, the next leaf play will definitely kill. So, uh, William there really making a big mistake, I think, in the turn prior to this. Uh, well, two turns prior to this because. Uh, Instead of, he went for a Dazzling Gleam, which I think was not the best decision. He could just leave the Arcanine alone because the Arcanine can't do much to his Marawa. He, need, he needed to deal with the Tapu Fini in order for him to, uh, you know, to, 
to prevent any sort, any more damage going onto his Marwa. Yeah, I think William make. Yeah, and there's the ice cream to the Cardanite. He's actually revealing, yeah. No, and no flinch, no flinch. Yeah, no he flinch. flinch should pick up the KO here. There's actually, no, but it doesn't matter because Labbit. Yeah. 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 There's the handshake. So Gary Carnadi actually winning the fourth Swiss round of yeah. this tournament and uh, maybe might be going to the top four for all we know. Yeah, congratulations Gary. So an intense, intense match here Very by both players. Uh, a bit unfortunate for William misplaying a bit I would say. Yeah. And uh, in the end Gary managed to go through with uh, his superior bulk and playing much much better. So. Uh, we will. Do you have anything else to say about no. the match? Yeah. Uh, this year? Yeah. It's it's very interesting. It's uh, it's very tense. It's um, yeah. It's a very mind game. Like ah, uh, must make a good prediction. Yeah, of course. So um, I think I will be interviewing the winner, Gary Kanadi. Yeah, we will so call the winner to to the caster decks. Okay. Before we move on to the top four round. So until then, we'll catch you later. Yeah. Stay tuned. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with me, Akliff, and here I will be uh, interviewing Gary Carnade, the Swiss Round 4 winner. So, first and foremost, Gary, congratulations on winning. My first question is, how did you feel when you saw his team beat you in the first round? I think in the first round, like, I usually start with Togirimaru and Pini at, like, most of all of my games. Mm -hmm. So, just, that's like my base of my strategy. Right? Okay. So, when I saw it, I just gonna try it, right? Yes, that's right. It, okay? And then, and it doesn't work totally, right? Yes, yeah, because uh, the Marawa was yeah. really preventing a lot of things. Like, my Togedemiru only can attack with like, electric move and it has lightning. Lightning rod, right, yeah. So it's not the best, yeah. right? And uh, second question is, uh, your katana seems to be like the pivot against his team and you knew that you had to protect the katana, so uh, so, like, well, how how did you go about it with your katana against his yeah. his team? I just knew that I have to defeat the Tapulele, mm -hmm. right? Because sometimes <laughs> I, I use Fini, at, I throw Fini in the first time, right? Mm -hmm. And then I I knew I gotta defeat Tapulele no matter what, so I just gotta go sacrifice katana. sacrifice Fini and then bring in katana, katana for free, right? Yeah, right. Okay. And last question is your Flygon. Very interesting. Yeah. Care to tell us why Flygon? Why well, fly gun? Because when I choose Togedimaru, Fini, Kartana, and Arcanine, mm -hmm. I really quit ground. Right? You need a ground type. Yeah, and it's something that fly or left it or whatever. And then I figure out I get I get the dragons. <laughs> <laughs> so I just get a big fly gun for it. I see. Instead of Garchomp, right? Yeah. And for fly gun. Okay, very interesting choice. Um, I think that's all questions thank and uh, congratulations thank once thank again. You. Hopefully you move on to the uh, to the top four, right? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so that's all for today. Well, that's all for the interview, that is. We will catch you in the top four round of the 2017 Pokemon Indonesia Trainer Circuit Grand Finals. We'll see you then.